I recently came across an article online that suggested that Sony has developed a 247 megapixel sensor, albeit for a medium format camera. And that got me thinking about that long 25 year old debate that says how many megapixels is enough me megapixels? Because I imagine 25 years ago, people were saying that three megapixels is enough. You don't need to go any more than three megapixels. And a while ago, I did see online some debate about how, do you need to go beyond 10? And the truth is, throughout my photography career, if you like, most of my digital photography career is based on a six, six megapixel sensor or a 10 megapixel sensor. And I've been very happy with those images. They've been perfectly all, all right for me. And then I've migrated or I've got new cameras to 16 megapixel. And now my workhorse camera is my Olympus EM1 Mark II. And that's a 20 megapixel camera, albeit it can go up to 50 megapixel with its high res format. But I, but I don't really think about the size of the sensor, the megapixels on the sensor on my camera, because it just not, not something that, that I, it, it concerns me because the images I get out of my uh, EM1 Mark II, I'll, I'll argue I'll necessarily light years different to the images I've got out of my six megapixel Pentax. I think that they're, they're on par with each other. And in my mind, at least, I think there's only really two main benefits for having a 247 megapixel sensor. The first being that if you want to take a picture of wildlife and you don't have a long lens, you have the ability to crop in quite a lot of your 247 megapixels and get the picture of that bird or that deer that's at a distance and you'd still get a reasonably sharp good clarity images image based on that that big sensor whereas if you've only got a 10 megapixel sensor and you try to crop in on a distant object it's going to be you're going to lose the detail and lose the clarity and it won't look so good so that's that's really one good big benefit of having a really big sensor the other thing is as well is that if you want to print images let's say a0 you're gonna you should expect to get a much better quality better clarity image printed on a a0 however because of the the quality of our eye our, that, how, how much detail our eyes can see there, there's an argument you wouldn't maybe notice any difference between a 247 megapixel image on an a0 uh, in picture or a um, 20 megapixel image on an A0 uh, uh, poster so it's hard to it's hard to qual quantify that really because I'm not sure if the human eye can detect it the other let's say possible drawback I'm not sure if it's a drawback for you but on my Olympus my EM1 Mark II uh, my raw files are coming out around seven megabytes so each of my raw pictures are seven megabytes and I upload those seven megabytes and into my computer and edit them in Lightroom and do whatever I need to do with it. However, if I try to do the same thing with a 50 uh, megapixel image, then I'm, I don't know, but I'm going to guess that's going to be something like 30 megabytes. Or if I had a 100 megapixel sensor, that could be 50, 60, 70 or more megabytes, that those images. And I just wonder, is my computer going to be able to cope with those such massive files and how long does it take to load those images in and for Lightroom to process them and all the rest of it so I just wondered uh, yeah, is the larger sensor size worth it for, for that sort of thing and how much storage do I need on my computer to save all these files it just the mind boggles really the bigger the, the bigger you get these things I can see the draw that people might think more mix of megapixels is better bigger bigger sensor sizes is, is better but in truth I, I don't believe it is and I think there must be a, a, a balance a sweet spot between the size of the sensor and the number of megapixels you have and of course on my micro four thirds camera it's 20 megapixels and if you try to squeeze more and more megapixels on that small sensor size it's just going to get overcrowded because the photo sites, the size of those photo sites are like a tenth of the width of the hair. And if you go smaller and smaller and smaller, 
surely that diminishes the light capture and capability of those photo sites and it kind of has a negative impact on the sensor on the on on the sensor size so there must be a, a sweet spot for the, the sensor size and the amount of photo sites the megapixels you have on that sensor yeah i can understand a medium format sensor being 247 megapixels it might work whereas a full frame you might get away with 100 megapixels on a full frame but still even that's just far too many and yeah that's my argument really that's what i'm basing this this video on how big is big enough and in my mind 20 megapixels 50 megapixels on full frame is probably as far as you need to go and i'm not sure if we have the technology to use those large files to currently today that make it worth having that bigger um sensor size those bigger files and that detail uh, let me know what you think if you think i'm wrong just let me know that'd be great thank you very much for listening to me rambling on about sensor size um, I hope it's been a little bit interesting. If it has, why not give the video a like and uh, share some appreciation. And if you like this photography content I'm trying to create, then why not follow along with me and just uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome if you did that. Uh, thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.